Do you know the London Trocadero? Back in the day, it was a palace of arcade games, cinemas, and fast food. A teenager's heaven. The former site of the Troc has been bought by property developer, referred to as the meanest landlord during the pandemic, and is being turned into a three-story house of prayer and Islamic center. In this video, we'll talk about an iconic London building turning into a mosque. Welcome to the Deep Dive Show. And welcome back to Somali Christian TV. We are your favorite Somali ex-Muslims exposing the deception of Islam and spreading that Jesus is the only way to heaven. If you're new to us and want to learn more, subscribe now and join to Somali Christian TV family. My name is Shania and this is Mahas Mashina and our lovely daughter Naomi. Yes. 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 So today we're talking about this uh, iconic London building called the Trocadero that is now being um, transformed into a mosque. Wow. So they tried to um, submit their planning um, permissions to turn this into a mosque in 2020 they said no the council said no because all of the area is a nightlife area and it wow. doesn't it doesn't follow well with that yeah but now this um billionaire or millionaire asif aziz has um gotten the permission from the council westminster wow. council Money to speaking. turn this iconic london oh building gosh. that was a restaurant that was like an area for entertainment into a mosque wow. and the Muslims are rejoicing. rejoicing. You know, the t top Muslim, whatever, right now, I mean, nobody really talks about him that much anymore. Mm -hmm. But Andrew Tate said, amazing news. Allah is the best of planners and I look forward to seeing the Islamic Republic of Great British Stan in her final form. <laughs> Just what is happening? The yeah, Allah is what? the best in deceiver. Yeah, that's, that, that's, that's the best. That but then what? he said, yes. Alhamdulillah, Britain will be fully Islamic soon. These wow. people, God this, is, this is what their plan is. Yes. This is what they want. They want to turn the West mm. into an Islamic country. It's true. It Even is. if he's um, maybe joking or whatever he's saying, because this is obvious that he's taking the mic. Yeah. But, you know, this is, this is truth in a way, because the Muslims love to change churches change big buildings whatever to show that they're taking over the country yeah yeah and uh, not only the country they want to take over the whole world they always brag that uh, islam well. islam is fast growing religion, religion and yeah. soon will take over that the world mm -hmm. and see and so so this is the way they are bragging and they are showing yeah. that they will dominate the world and uh, this is how they acting yeah and uh, you know inch by inch and they are in the western countries and they try firstly to be nice to you and later on they will you know um, uh, yeah they, they will move into them. into your territory and uh, they will and they throw you away from your own country exactly. so uh, uh, we will advise uh, western people to be awake and to be vigilant and uh, you have to know the deception of islam yeah. you have to know that allah is the best deceiver yeah. and this is the way they are deceiving you yeah. you know uh, by taking over your country so they want to make your country islamic country and they are running from their own countries from their sharia law yes. and they come into western countries and they will make you know your country and you know, a country of uh, sharia law that's and that will be chaos later on that's exactly. the dream of every muslim's heart guys yeah. i'm telling you we're telling you the truth we used to be muslim we are ex-muslims we know how they think i remember one time one of my Somali friend, she said, wow, I'm so glad I'm in the West because when we come in number, we get Big over in number, yeah. uh, and, uh, we get over the country, you yeah, know? Take, over. Uh, take over, like take over Sweden, take over UK, take over US, take over all the West. I mean, we've seen it in and Sweden. And she said, yeah, and she said, I'm so happy because I'm here. So I'm ready even to fight, she said, if they do, they do that. And oh. I know a, a Sheikh, Somali Sheikh, who's in U USA, America, and he was just showing beautiful young Western girls yeah. in their pictures, and he's like a crying, and his eyes fantasizing, like fantasizing, fantasizing yeah. and turning on, saying, oh, when we take over yeah. all this blue eye blonde, they will be our girls. We can just enter them. We can do whatever. They will be our slaves. Can you believe that? Exactly. Because the Quran, the Surah 9, 29 says, yeah. Yeah. You have to read that if you have yeah, that. Yeah, please, yeah, please. Yeah. yeah, it says, Fight against those who believe not in Allah, nor in the last day, nor forbid that which has been forbidden by Allah and His Messenger, and those who acknowledge not the religion of truth, i.e. Islam, among the people of the scripture, Jews and Christians, yeah. until they pay the jizya with willing submission and feel themselves subdued. See, guys, here, you, Allah is giving order to every Muslim to fight the non-believers unless they accept either 
Allah and become Muslim like Tate or so on. Yeah, others yeah, yeah, yeah. who are like uh, ignorant, following blind, like following blind. Exactly. And and or you have to pay money. That's like a blackmailing them to 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 have protect to, you, to, like, to yeah. protect you to li- your life, yeah. not to kill you, you know. Yeah. Because in the surah say qatlu, qatlu means exit them. It doesn't say fight. So, no, yeah. it doesn't say fight. They just making a it, sweet. Yeah. They making uh, Sweeter, soft. Yeah. So it says do that. If they don't believe Allah, so you have to either they do that or you have to accept and follow their uh, you because they are mafia. You have to join with them. Or you have to pay money because of the mafia. If they take this uh, 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 this area, you have to give money. Otherwise, you're not gonna survive. They're gonna kill you. Yeah. I mean, so that's what it says. Or they have to uh, become one of them. So it's three options: to be killed, to to become Muslim, or to to uh, what was that? To pay money. Yeah, like exactly. Mafia. Yeah, do so. not think that uh, fight in this surah is a physical fight only. No, 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 no. no. Fight uh, is also taken over when your iconic number. buildings. Yes. Yeah. When they taken over your iconic buildings, they show you that they are taking over your country, your yeah. land, yeah. your precious places. Mm. That is part of the fighting. Yeah. So it's mm. a different way of uh, jihad and different way of fighting. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. But also, you know how uh, Sadiq Khan, the mayor of London, of mm. course, you He's know, a like Muslim man. It's like it just shows you how the, the very fast Islamization of yeah. London is happening. Yeah. Um, right now, but also this guy who's this um, millionaire, billionaire, buying this building, wanting to turn it into a mosque. You know, the For tax, name, just tax the money though. Think yeah. about that as well. Yeah. These buildings and these um, like religious buildings and stuff get yeah, tax break, whatever. Yeah. He yeah. he's just cashing in on that. It's not anything to you know. He's just he's lining his own pockets. A and B. He's also doing it for the um, sake of. Extending Islam name. and the yeah. name, yeah. The name. And you know, it's not only him. I'm sure all the Muslims who are in the UK and London and any other countries, all the time they collect the money. Yes. We build the mosque. You have to give Allah. Allah. If you build the house to for Allah, He will build your house in heaven. In heaven, yeah. But if you don't build it, Allah is not going to build your house. So if whatever little they have, they they will give. You know, exactly. All the time, if you go to the channels of the Dawa team, you like, will like see. Like Ali Dawa, Ali Dawa, Muhammad Dawa, all of them. They will say, "Oh, we're money. building mosque in uh, where? In Norway. 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 Norway is a neat mosque. We're yeah. building mosque in uh, UK, in here, in there, and Sweden." So they just want to collect the money, and the money, half of that will go also their own pocket. You Don't know? forget. It's not like a Christians, you know, when the uh, uh, Christians do in fundraising, they collect the money and give all together. But no, Allah said those who are collecting, they have to have their share. You know, here it's mafia. So you are, you collecting the money, half will go to these people who are or collecting, collecting it. like the Dawa team. You know, it's because it's corner. They are not yeah. free there. They collecting all their money. They have half of the money. And the rest will go to the uh, to, to the mosque or to whatever. The mosque. Exactly. Or uh, anyone who become Muslim, yeah. bribe them. Or those who are need. doing jihad. Yeah. Yes. Or those who are dying for uh, for Allah's Allah sake. Yeah. So what we are saying here, guys, Western, please wake up before it's too late, guys. Yeah. You need to wake up. What happened in the UK? You remember the MB, bless him, may he rest in peace, who died few years ago. Yes. Who, who was killed? Who, yeah. who killed? Yeah. The Somali young man who are born in the UK. London, grow was up. Brainwashed in He's the been brainwashed by the mosque. And that mosque was built in your, you know, in your uh, with, with your tax money. And now they're doing the same thing. If they're building a place and they have a peace with you and they are respecting the law of the country, yes, power to them. We want to be them to be happy as well. So, but this... if they're brainwashing our children and they're taking all their money from the uh, widows, from single mothers, yeah. taking living off their money all the time traumatizing with Allah's name and later on all that money being brainwashed to you the young kids and later on they want to take over the country and these boys whatever they're gonna do we don't know my God forbid what they what he has done the young man that's what they want and they show it off they don't want to buy a place in empty place no, they don't no, want to no. buy and start from scratch they don't build that they has to be the place they are buying has to be either mosque uh, or no, no, church, ch- church Yeah, or iconic converting, place, yeah. Converting Famous to mosque, place, yeah. Or iconic place or some other place. Even nightclub, doesn't matter. Yeah. They are showing, they want to show you guys how they want to take over. And even if you Google, you will see all the statues. famous statues in every country. In Sweden, in, 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 no, Denmark. in Denmark, in America, yeah. in the UK. They put on a burqa. 
This yeah, is what we're going to do when we take over the country. We're yeah, going to put a Campbell dab up, on yeah. this uh, wake up. statue. So Wake stupid. up, Western. Welcome the refugees. We were one of them. You welcome us and we love you. But if anyone not respects your culture and your laws, I don't think that they need to be respected. They need to be sent back Agreed. where they come from. Exactly. Yes. Yes. yes, yes. Special thanks to our PayPal, Patreon channel members. Thank you guys so much for supporting us. And if you want to support us as well, you can do Thank so you. on the links down below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share this video. Leave your comment down below what you think about this iconic London building being turned into a mosque. Mm. And we'll see you next time. Yeah, God bless you. Yes, and we'll say all the Muslims, please repent, leave Islam and come to Jesus Christ. Christ. Yeah. He is the only way to heaven. Amen. Amen. God bless see you, you soon. Bye-bye.